March, and hey, congratulations on Aldosis. Thank you so much. I'm happy that you like it. Hey, yeah, it's terrific. I, I, I found it uh, very thrilling with a lot of twists and turns. And now tell us, uh, where did the original idea came from for Aldosis? The idea? Yes. Well, the idea, I, I took it from a real story and news that uh, I heard in 2012 about um, two nurses in Uruguay, a country which is near to Argentina. Uh, they were accused, accused from, well, applying euthanasia in different patients. And I felt very attracted at, this, at the first time that I read the news and I start, um, I don't know, I started almost immediately to write, um, well, it was like two years after that, uh, the nurses were finally innocent. They, they couldn't be uh, condemned. So um, I felt free to write whatever I wanted about this story. So it was like five years until 2017 writing about this. And finally, we won a contest here in Argentina and we shot the film in 2019. So it was like seven years writing different possibilities and it was very interesting for me to, to do so and, and have the time to develop the, the best possible story at least for me and my abilities. <laughs> <laughs> now for, the, for those, for some of us here in the United States who are not familiar with Argentina, um, what are the laws about uh, euthanasia? Well, we don't have almost any law about it. And for us, uh, the, the decisions of our, our bodies is a subject that we are starting to, to discuss about. So we almost, it was in, in December, last December, that the abortion law was finally um, approved in the Congress. So imagine how long how far are we from this kind of, of law about euthanasia? We have a, a, like, like a code, it's not a law, in which you can know about your rights and you can decide some things, but never euthanasia. And what's very interesting for me, for example, the, the film was, was premiered in, in Holland and in the Rotterdam Festival, and they have a, a very... Um, good law about euthanasia. So it's very interesting for me to find different, that in different places, it's um, seen in a different way, the film. So what, what kind of reactions do you get in Argentina when they watch the film like this, rather than, you know, internationally? Well, uh, the first problem is that I cannot see the reactions in, <laughs> in, in the cinema. So I, I think there are different kinds of reactions. Um, it was interesting, at least with the journalists, to have um, discussions about this because we, we are very aware that we don't have a lot about this. And, and as I told, the decisions of our, our own bodies are very, impor very important to, 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 I don't know, to, to advance in that way. And, but for example, we had like um, a, a small congress online with specialists in euthanasia, and we talked about it uh, using the film as a, a way of, of um, talking different subjects uh, regarding to euthanasia. So that was very interesting for me, and, but I, I really miss the, the cinema reactions. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I I found your characters, your two main characters, uh, Marcos and Ignacio, so fascinating because they are complete opposite of, of each other. Tell me about the development of those two characters um, and why you did it to be complete opposite. Well, I felt that after I, I knew this, this real story, there were two nurses and what was... A, um, a good guy like, like Marcos is this kind of big guy and in this real story the other one the opposite was a very bad guy and everybody was pointing him like this one is a killer 
And I felt that I needed exactly the opposite. A, a, a very gentleman guy and very nice and, and very seductive. So for me, it was very important that um, Gabriel was an opposite, but it's like, I, I, I said, like two parts of the same coin. I mean, uh, they are different, but like, like in the poster, they are, they are both parts of the same problematic. So it was very interesting for me to find the, the, this kind of opposition and the attraction of the opposites. So it was very nice for me to write about them. And then with Carlos and, and Ignacio, the actors, to took it to the next level in, in the screen. Yes, talk, talk about the two actors that you actually used in, in, in this film and tell, tell us why they, they are perfect. Or how, how do you make them develop their chemistry? Well, it's not easy because uh, you don't, it's hard to know if it's going to be a chemistry between them. Uh, I first chose uh, Carlos Portalupi to do Marcos because he's like the main, main character. And I felt it was very important to find this big guy but uh, Carlos in his characters always have this tenderness. And I felt it was very, um, it was crucial to, to find this tenderness. And, and he's one of the greatest actors that we have here in Argentina. So for me, it was um, a, a, an honor to have him in, in my first film. And then we have to search and find the, the opposite. Uh, not another big actor or, or very like a, a macho guy. It was very important to find this kind of fragile guy and a thin, in opposite to, to, to Carlos and, and Marcos' character. And Nacho, uh, which I, I, I haven't knew before the film, um, well, I, I felt that he could do and, and, and generate this chemistry. And, and I'm very glad that it happened because, as I told you, you never know. And when they started to work together, I felt that um, the, the chemistry was happening and it was a big relief for me, of course. When, when people watch this film, they're going to they're gonna wonder about the, the lighting and the color selections that you actually chose for this film. In fact, it is reflective on the poster behind you. Could you mm. talk about why the choice of the colors and, and the lighting for, for this film throughout? Well, for me, it was, um, it was very crucial that the night, it was a, part, a very important part of the film that they work at night and to, to put them in a situation in which you feel that Carlos or Marcos especially is the owner of that place, but he's never in with, with full domination of the situation. And I, I I wanted to find something something sordid, but not a horror film. And if you look at the hospitals at least, at least here in Argentina, you will find the blue, the green, and well, with Gustavo Biasi, the DOP, and the art director of Juan Giribaldi, we were together looking at some references that I found from, I don't know, Changu Park films from Korea, and even, I don't know, Roman Polanski films, different kind of references that I had. And we felt that this, these cold colors were very important. And, and I feel that uh, they, they achieve, uh, our, our, we achieve what we were looking for. But even if you look, you will find like here, some yellow, some orange, some uh, sparks of, of, of light colors, but especially it was very, um, very green and blue. And, and I think it, it works fine with the film. Now, a lot of people will not know is that this is your, this is your feature film directorial debut. This is your first film. And by watching it, we can't tell. How was that experience for you overall? Well, first, thank you. And it is uh, the result of a lot, a lot of work. And, and with Pablo Charno, which is a, the executive producer, we felt that being me, like uh, um, being my first film, it was very important to have um, very experienced 
people in, in the team. So uh, Gustavo, the DOP, the art director, everyone have a lot of, of experience to like help me in this in this path. So of course part of, of this sensation that you have that is, is a, a, uh, an, I don't know, an experienced film because of them. And also I, I had directed some short films and I, I prepared myself <laughs> as hard as I could. <laughs> so that's the result. I, and it took many years, as I told you, we won the contest in 2017 and I had two years until the shooting to get ready to, to shoot. And I have like an, an, an Excel with all shot by shot and like, we, we're going to do this this way. And of course, when you get to the, to the set, you change a lot. But for me, it was very important to feel that I was really prepared. So uh, I'm glad that you feel that it's like not a first film, <laughs> but with the freshness of the first, first film. I, I think I think you have with this film this is a great this is a great start to your career so Martin let me let me uh, let me wrap it up with uh, one, one, one last question for you because I, I know Argentina for the past year for the pandemic there there, there, there there's some mixed uh, you know struggles on handling the pa pandemic I, I want to know is how are you staying sane and creative um, during this entire time and, and hopefully that we would be you know your country, would hope to open soon to uh, continue the film industry? Well, I, I think that in life, everything that is a struggle, it makes you stronger. And I, I try to take it that way. When we had, in, especially in, in March last year in 2020 to be like lockdown. Well, I took that time to write and to try to develop next projects and try to stay safe. Of course, we don't want to be in a, in a, in a intensive care like, like in the film. So it was very important to me to keep myself active. And well, I tried to be sane as I could. I, I got COVID in, in April, but uh, luckily it was light, a light version of the disease. So I'm okay. But well, uh, as I told you, all experience uh, that you have can help you to, um, I don't know, improve your abilities or maybe like, like I said, to develop new projects. And I'm trying to do so. So, but of course I hope that we will be in the streets again soon and get a lot of, of shots, but the good ones not as in the film. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I, I... Let's let 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 let's hope they spread the good shots, not 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 yes, the one for the film. <laughs> <laughs> well, Martin, hey, this is an enjoyable conversation. I thank you, and you know what? It, this movie is so good. I can't wait to see what movie you follow up after this. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Nikki, and I. I hope there will be next uh, next film soon. I, I I'll try to, but. I'm very, very happy that have Ladosis and the Dose and in the United States and in North America. I, then I can't wait to talk to you about your next film again. Thank you okay. very much. Thank you Bye so now. much. Bye.